hello welcome to my channel my name is Tatinda Moral. if you're new to my channel welcome but if you're an old critic but thank you for coming back and for tuning in um i've just done this uh look guys it's beautiful and i'm in love with it yeah so if you like what you're seeing guys just go ahead and continue watching and uh, you learn one or two things in it and guys um i hope you're liking these videos guys if you've got any suggestions of what you, what you want to see or what you like want to do want, want me to do um i'm here for it guys so uh, i'll continue rambling so i'll just um get on with it so thank you for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe uh, share comment and uh, like guys and i'll see you on my next video god willing love you bye here we are guys i've got my violet firstly palette and i've already prepped my eyelids with p louise eyeshadow best so i'm just taking my b13 brush and i'm just starting to put um my um, transition color into my crease and my camera is not focusing but here we go <laughs> so yeah I'm just taking my transition shade and I'm just up and close as well guys <laughs> so that you can see where my where I put my actual transition color so I'm just trying to blend and blend and blend that color in so that we got that um, ombre effect so I'm taking that color Again, just put in my crease and continue blending and put it to um, until you're satisfied with your with your crease, how you want it to look. Still using my same brush, guys, the B13. I recommend this brush, guys. It's so soft. And I'm taking my uh, Violet Force Pro Dye Ride or Dye palette and I'm taking um, I'm taking Amy and I'm just trying to dip in my crease with it is this uh, is kind of like cranberry color so yeah I'm using my B13 and I'm also using my M535 brush. So I'm continuing with that color until I'm satisfied with the depth of the the vibe, the depth of the color. And also, yeah, just going back and forth really. And trying to blend out the edges as well at the same time. Still using the same brush, M535. And continue until I'm satisfied with my outer V, how I want it to look. As you can see, I'm focusing more on my outer V than my inner, in my inner, uh, I lead sorry guys my camera was shaking I didn't realize that I'm shaking my camera but yeah so and if you can hear the noise guys it's raining as well it's been miserable lately so I'm using that palette as well from the Morphe 39A palette I'm taking that cranberry shade and it's using the same same um, brush M535 just to dip in my outer V with it um, yeah I just want that cranberry look just on the outer V more so if it looks harsh guys it will come together in the end don't you worry it will come together and I'm just Putting that shade and I'm just swapping my 
my brushes so that I, I'm blending the edges and stuff so that we don't have any harsh edges everything's nice and smooth and blended but the eyeshadow guys is always back and forth you gotta have to be patient with it always go back and forth to make sure you don't have any harsh lines with you so I've been well I'm taking my P. Louise eyeshadow base and I'm using my ring finger just to put I'm not doing a cut crease guys I'm just putting where I want the next eyeshadow to be and I'm using my finger because I think it just makes everything you know, nice and smooth so I've done that so I'm taking my brush again the M535 and go back with that cranberry look in the this 9a palette by Morphe and just put it there at the edge of my eyeshadow base just to give it a bit of transition and the depth there so if it looks harsh guys don't worry it will come up in it will come together in the end you just need to know where i'm placing my eyeshadow first before i start fixing anything so that's what i'm just doing right now so yeah i'm just putting that shade so that i'm dipping it and i'm going back into my well i'm drinking tea <laughs> myself hydrated i love tea guys i'm always drinking tea all the time if i'm in the house i'm always drinking tea but yeah i'm going back with my violet first i'm just trying to think of shade to put on my lid <laughs> so yeah i'll go in with uh, andrea that shade and i'm using my ring finger again to apply it it's nice and vibrant color it's cranberry look i love that color it is so beautiful so i'm just using my finger you can use your fingers or you can use your flat brush if you want but i always like to put my finger i think it just applies more beautifully that way and more vibrant that way well that's my preference so yeah i'm just packing that color on and yeah And then I'm just going back with that uh, M535 with that color just to try to dip in my, cre my crease so that everything is blended and I'm using my B13 to just blend the edges again. I know I've taken my eyeshadow too high. I always do. Sometimes I take it low, you know, but it's, I always take them high for some reasons. <laughs> That's how I, I like them, guys. Don't butcher me. That's how I like them. So I'm just taking my B18 by Morphe. I just love Morphe brushes, guys. They are most soft and beautiful, and they are not expensive, guys. That's the other reason why I like Morphe, and they do the job so perfectly. So, yeah. So I'm just blending the edges with that B18 brush. And I've dipped in my out of it to give it a bit of a smoky look to it. So yeah, so I'm just trying to blend it and blend it and blend it and blend it. That's all you gotta do with eyeshadow, guys. Blending is the key. It is the key. So yeah. And I've taken my eyeshadow so high and I'm trying to clean it up. So I've just finished and I put my um eyelashes off camera and i'm just spraying my uh, cautile spray and the lashes i've used guys they are by they are from a uh, unicorn eyelashes i can't remember the style because i've lost the, the the package of it so so i know that um that foundation is light guys because i am so tan now but in my winter shade, that is a perfect shade for me. So I'm using a Tobacco by Becca Full Coverage Foundation. Me, I am a full coverage person. I love that full, you know, the beating up the face just to the fullest and just glammed up. Yeah, that's me. 
So I'm just using that. I know I look like a ghost right now. It looks really, 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 really light. But <laughs> it will come together in the end, guys. So don't butcher me. I know it's light. You see? So I'm just using my All Nighter Concealer by Urban Decay. Just to highlight under my eyes. And I'm spraying my Fix Plus so that everything is um, nice and sleek. And that inner glow that's what you're looking for so i'm just using my beauty blender and it's wet guys just to blend everything out and make sure that everything is in place so it's the blending is all guys that makes this also come out right is the blending that i have to love the blending so now i'm taking my sienna by becca just use it for contouring. I love cream contouring, especially with one of my favorite foundations. I just take a, a, my shade and my deeper shade just to do the contouring with the same foundation. So yeah, that's what I've just done. So I'm just blending the edges and stuff so that we don't have any harsh lines. So it's always the back and forth. Can you see that inner glow though, guys? Is the fix plus amazing stuff I use that all the time all the time guys I don't know so I'm using now my hourglass valve translucent powder just to put it everywhere like I said before I don't bake with this one guys I just love it for the glowing and stuff so I'm just using my uh, professional demo blend professional powder just to bake my under eye and everywhere i want it to be to set and just locked in i use this powder it is amazing i do recommend this powder guys and it's not that expensive it's really really good guys and it does the job amazing it ha it brightens your under eye and also you know, it melts into your skin. It doesn't sit in your fine lines. You've got fine lines under the eyes. It just melts into your skin. That's why I love this brush. This um powder, guys. It's amazing. So I'm just doing the reverse under my eyes, guys. It's just like what we did at the top. We're doing it at the bottom as well. So that I get that smoky looking feel. Especially when I'm doing this bold looks. And you can't even see me in the camera, guys. I do apologize. I didn't know that I was doing that. I was doing that, actually. So, yeah. I'm just trying to blend everything together, guys. And make sure everything is done and is in place. And I just had... I think I think I've got I should in my eyes. Just it just so if you don't like it, no I shut into your eyes, guys. Just be careful. Just be careful with uh, how you apply. So this is how I do it, guys. So I'm just doing the um the inner corners as well, just to make sure that you no know, is nice and popping so i'm just dusting all the excess of that powder and everything out so that you know, it's nice and clean and can you see guys how it just melts into your skin does it make you feel so dry you know when you put some other powders it feels so dry this one it doesn't it really really feels so good so I'll go in with my Fix Plus and I'm drenching myself, guys, because I just want all them powder to melt, to melt into my skin. And the key as well, guys, find your face so that everything is locked in. And if I tell you that even if you sweat, your makeup is not going to go anywhere. It's in place and it's intact. And the most thing I do not like when I've got my makeup putting all these products is to touch up when I'm out. No, I don't like that. If I put my makeup all this effort, it should stay put and not move.
that's the whole reason guys why I do this but yeah so I'm going with my shape shifter and I'm just contouring my face now guys with the powder setting the cream contour and I'm just using my um this is called my oh my oh funny brushes I got this from eBay guys that they do the job so good so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm just contouring my nose now just try to 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 snatch <laughs> to snatch that uh, nose and here oh my god can you see I've just <laughs> I just put too much there, so I'm just trying to blend it out, guys. So that it stops us from looking all crazy. But other than that, yeah, I'm just blending things in. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is blended. No harsh lines or whatsoever. So I'm taking my uh, cover girl. Queen of a Queen cover girl bronzer in ebony. I love this one mainly to just try to warm up my face, or oh, sometimes I use it as a blush as well because it's so red on me. So, yeah, so I'm just trying to do some, some blush and stuff, and more fix plus. <laughs> yeah i just love fix plus guys don't put i mean that's my preference that's how i would do my makeup and that's yeah just do me i'm just drinking water guys just keep myself hydrated there because it's been so hot so i'm taking my uh, highlighter by maybelline the master chrome one like i said guys i don't like too much highlighter i just I, that's my preference guy my preference guys um i don't like too much highlighter i think for personally it just ruins all the hard work that you just done if you put too much highlighter i don't like that blinding highlighter i like it but not that much so i'm just cleaning my lips now so i can they can be ready for lipstick so i'm using my mua pencil i always use this for my lips and also i use it for my eyebrows the one for the eyebrows the ones you know normal pencils so i use those amazing stuff my go-to go-to guys and it's only 99p you can never go wrong with that so i'm putting my kale kelvin klein lipstick which is number 113 dangerous delicious delicious luxury lipstick by kevin klein i love this color i normally not the bold person that you know goes with the bold lipstick and stuff i'm always neutral all the time that's just me i prefer neutrals but lately i've been trying to come out of my comfort zone and just do the bold lips and stuff so now I'm just touching the last touch me touchings just so everything is in place. So guys, that's the final look. This one. So I shall see you in my next video, guys. If God willings, thank you for the support. Bye. Yeah.